Hi everybody, it's Anthony from ComicSceneUp.net. I'm back again with Terry Hockness from HocknessComics.com. I'm sunburned as all heck, but we're doing our new comic spec review video for May 3rd, 2017. Last week was kind of a quiet week. There was nothing that really popped big, um, and the news was uh, kind of slow. We did get the um, proof of concept trailer for the Revival um, movie that is being optioned, or is being made, I should say. Um, and I thought that looked pretty good. Uh, you can see that over here. It's playing in the side. Uh, I, I really thought it was a uh, an interesting proof of concept, and I would look forward to that. I know this had been optioned before, and it kind of fell through. The heat of the book went away, but the heat just definitely came back uh, this month. So, Terry, do you want to go ahead and get us started this week? As you know, on my website, HawknessComics.com, which is all about uh, comic book history for vintage and new releases and speculating, and I always rank all the new releases and the potential hot speculator books from a 1 to 10. So here you can see, I don't really give any super high ratings this week, so I'll show you kind of my highlighted best odds books. Pestilence from Aftershock Comics is one of my highlights of the week. Not a guaranteed book to heat up, but has a good chance and it looks amazing. My big book for this week is Pestilence number one. Um, this is a zombie story that takes place in the Middle Ages. It's knights fighting zombies. While it's not necessarily the most inspired sounding story, it's a really good read. This is not for kids. It's violent. Um, there's nudity. Uh, lots of violence, actually. Um, and this just looks like it's going to be a fantastic book. All the covers for this book are sold out on Midtown, so that's a pretty good sign that if they're disappearing online already, um, really, you know, many days out from Wednesday's release, that this book could have some heat behind it. There's also a uh, the Comic Mint variant that are floating around on eBay. Again, another good, um, another good book, another good grab for a uh, store variant. I know a lot of people shy away from store variants, but the store the variant for this one's a really good looking variant. My big pick of the week is Bane Conquest, number one. This is a miniseries from DC. Miniseries don't always heat up, but DC's kind of been on a streak where retailers are playing it safe and not over-ordering miniseries. Popularity of Bane makes me think that this could be a really good long-term pick. Looks pretty cool. One of the new series that I'm keeping my eye out on this week is 451 Media Stained, number one. Uh, the book actually looks really good. Stay, uh, 451 has put out several books that have done well initially on the secondary market. Um, and this looks like it's going to be a good book. The thing that really caught my eye is that the B cover is a Jock variant. And uh, Jock is extremely popular. The variant sold out on Midtown already. Um, we can check uh, my comic shop Wednesday evening around 7 p.m. You might be able to grab one there. Batman number 22 has this cool lenticular cover and the print run's going to be pretty darn high so I don't know if this really has a chance of heating up but strange things have happened and of course long term picks if people like this if it, especially if it turns out to be a key book for any reason in the story this could be a fun one. The Batman 22 lenticular cover is definitely a book I'm looking at. I like the lenticular covers that have come out. They're a little bit thinner than the last time. However, it's still a good-looking book, and the button has been a fantastic read so far. Uh, I can only see this going up in price later on. Image has another new series, Eternal Empire. And, of course, Image has been on a really big winning streak lately. A lot of their titles have heated up. They're just not overprinting any books. They want them to go to second printings. That could likely happen with this one. Frank Cho has been really doing a great job with the B covers for Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn number 19 has got a great cover of Harley at a drive through on uh, Batman's horse. It's just another kind of fun little cover. Uh, these Harley Quinn um, Frank, uh, Frank Cho books have been disappearing off the shelves anytime I uh, find them. I find the A covers, but I can't seem to find the B covers anywhere. I always grab one um, in my subscription box, but these have been disappearing off the shelves. Oni Press debuts a new series called The Damned. It's only a dollar cover price. That means, yes, it uh, might be ordered a little higher than normal. But again, it's Oni Press and retailers don't usually go crazy. Uh, once in a while, these dollar books actually do heat up. So this one has a chance. Looks pretty good. The thing to remember about The Damned is, is this is not the first time the series has been out. There was a previous four-issue miniseries, and that's the one that the movie was optioned off. So those books had long ago gone up in, in price. So it, a dollar book I'd still take a chance on. However, I would uh, be a little bit cautious. Um, I, I'm not sure this one's going to go up in value. Uh, probably a better one, in my opinion, would be the 7 to Eternity number 1 Image Firsts variant. 
Um, it's the reprint of uh, Seven to Eternity, which we all know is a great book and has been doing well in the secondary market. I'm going to throw a buck or two on that one. Walking Dead, 167 is out. He usually sells out. Always a good long-term pick as long as the show stays popular on TV. There are several variant covers out this week that look to be good flips if you can find them cheap enough. Uh, these have all disappeared off Midtown fairly quick, and there's definitely a market for them. First up is Iron Fist number three, the incentive of J.G. Jones cover. Uh, this disappeared quickly at around $45. I haven't checked eBay for the pricing yet, but it's a great looking cover, and this should sell well. The second variant is Secret Empire number one, the Mark Brooks premium variant cover. This was one of those big boy price books that was in the $200 range on Midtown and disappeared still. So if you can find one of these at your local shop and they're willing to part with it cheap, grab it and flip it. The Midtown prices are not always uh, where the market is going to be, but that's their retail price based on um, whatever they see fit. And uh, if somebody's willing to buy it at 200 and some dollars, I'm sure if you can find it cheap enough, you'll be able to make some money off it. Is Secret Empire number one, the Todd Newack Party Sketch uh, variant. This is another one of those high priced books on Midtown that disappeared Wednesday when the new books were listed. I mean, this one just flew off the shelf as well. Um, so if you can find it, again, grab it flip it while i'm not always crazy about his style j scott campbell's got a new variant for x-men gold number three x-men gold has been uh very popular with the fact that there was the hidden messages in the book uh, which caused some controversy which caused the first issues to move well and brought attention to the series not the kind of attention that marvel wanted however the series is moving and people are buying it so if you can find the j scott campbell cover grab it so anyway Thanks for watching. That's it for us this week. Let us know what you're specking on. If you're watching us on YouTube, give us a like. Uh, feel free to comment down in the comment section. If you're watching on ComicsHeatingUp.net, um, you know, let us know what you're specking on in the comments down there. Again, thanks everybody for watching.